Say who you are. Hi, I'm Julia. <laughs> Hi. Go ahead. Uh, Guillaume Giron. I am Jamie's husband and Emily's dad. Hi, I'm Zan. Uh, offering advice to Ollie. Hi, I'm Melanie Moore and I'm a friend of both of your parents. Hi, I'm Crystal and I'm a friend of your mom's dad. And I am in a hench. Hi, Ollie. This is your aunt Jamie. Hi, I'm Laura. Uh, my name's Rich. Hello, Oliver. My name is JT. I am as old as dirt. Trust me on this one. You'll understand later. Hello, Oliver. Uh, I'm Christine. Hi, Ollie. I'm Eric. Who are I'm you? Dirk. <laughs> uh, your quasi uncle. <laughs> we helped raise your older brother until he was, well, about five. Hi, Ollie. It's Spencer. Uncle Spencer. Remember that. And, well, you're getting a, getting information on uh, from everybody's from everybody's angle about a few key, key pieces of information. In order to fit in with the hench, deal with the hench, accept the hench, you have to be a little bit quirky, or a lot, a bit intelligent, and a good person. I know your parents. You'll be fine. You've got their genes. Looking forward to meeting you. Hi, Newman. Hey, so, um, good hench advice is don't have any new allergies. Mm -hmm. So let's see. About the hench. You're a very lucky baby. <clears throat> this is the smartest, most loving, most giving group of adults that you will ever, ever meet. And you are so lucky that they are in your extended family. Um. The most important thing to know about the hench is that, well, it's really loud. And you know, everybody's got opinions, everybody's got thoughts, and everybody's trying to talk. But if you listen, you might learn a lot. So it's good to sit down and just relax and listen. My advice to Oliver would be that um, he needs to call me Miss Christina, even though um, I haven't been a preschool teacher in a very long time, but everyone in the country calls me Miss Christina for some strange reason, even though they've never worked with me in a preschool class. I don't think there's anything that you could ever need to know that someone in the hedge is not expert in at least the important ones. So consider yourself blessed. Now, the uh, best way to uh, survive in the hedge is just sit back and listen and uh, soak in as much information as you And what's the one piece of advice you would give to Ollie coming into the world here? What, what does he need to know? Uh, Oliver? Always be true to yourself, be who you are, be open to new things, be open to making new friends, new relationships, and uh, friends and your family are pretty much the best thing you can always have in the world. You never want to be without those no matter where you go. Okay, thanks. And my advice for Ollie is that he should always keep a sense of humor no matter what life brings. Knowing that the family you're going into is a little bit bizarre. Rest assured, you will never be able to surprise them. So, be bizarre as often as you can. Live your dream. Find out what your dream is and do whatever you have to do to live it. Okay. Um, one piece of advice that I could give you for life is to always take it as it comes and to never be ashamed of anything you want to do. Or Just when you think You've got everything sorted out, something changes. You grow, you change a house, you change friends, you change places. But if you embrace that, if you really embrace that change and be a part of it and be a conscious part of it, you will always succeed and you will always come out. One thing that you should always have with you in life, wherever you go. Your family. Keep them in your heart. The one thing you should always carry with you is your friends. Okay. The thing you always want to have with you, and say your wits, your sense of humor, a 
because it'll get you out of a lot more situations than money or mind or anything like that. So, go through the world smiling. The one thing you should always carry with you is a towel. You never know when you might need a cleanup, a storage case, something to put over your head, or something that just might get you out of a lot of hot water. Chocolate. You should always have chocolate with you. Because if you're hungry, you can eat the chocolate. And if you meet a pretty girl, you can give her the chocolate. Go with a good old fashioned Swiss, Ar Swiss Army knife. Okay. Got your basic tools. Got a knife, you have no idea how important that is, and a fork if you get the good one. Okay. Things you should always have with you. Get a laptop. <coughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I guarantee there'll be one floating around. Um, always have a handkerchief, a lighter, and a first aid kit. <laughs> Um, and of course, um, other than that, save lots of money. That's good advice. Probably the best I can give. Also, don't anger women. Uh, they hurt you. Oops. <laughs> What's the baby thing? Okay. So. I just wanted to say hi to Ollie. Okay. Can you say hi, Ollie? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Yeah. I hear you. Can you say hi, Oliver? Hi. <laughs> so, henchlings are just mini hench people. So, what do you need to know to be, to have a good time in the hench? Well, you need to know people in hench, like Kurt and Brian, and you need to know and Bobby, you need to get to know the people in the hench. That makes it more, that makes it easier and you, yeah, you need to have fun and you need to like to talk a lot. Okay. Well, being a henchling is kind of cool because you get, because there are plenty of other henchlings. What do, who do you play with? Darian and Domio, Barbies and stuff. Okay, and what? Well, when you're in the hench, there's not, you're never lonely because there's always people coming. Like, there's always people bringing friends and there's always people coming. And the hench is probably one of the best parts of my life. I hope it's part of yours. Okay. The part about being a hench player is whenever the the run ups are playing games that you can't play, you can play any game you want, you can run around and you can scream. Okay. Well Ollie sometimes when you're sometimes when you're little, you're always getting pushed around by big people. But don't don't be scared, it's not all the big deal when you get used to it. What's the best part about being a kid? The best part of being a kid is you're little, like my age. You will be, you will get everything you you get from sharing. Yeah. What do you like to play with? Uh, toys. Yeah. What do boys like to play with? Uh, toys. What kind of toys? Uh, toys. Hero toys, robot toys, 
all kinds of toys. All right. That's important about being a kid. Listening to your parents. Go ahead. Well, being a kid is like sometimes you throw fits because you don't get what you want in the game. And you don't really get what you want when you're a kid. Most people, or kids, think they get to do whatever they want when they're a grown up. Now, this one's going to get a little heavy. But it's really, really important. There are plenty of grown-ups that don't realize this. So I'm going to share it with you right now. Make this understood. Make this part of your life. And never, ever forget it. Life's not fair. It doesn't mean it's not beautiful and wonderful and, and thrilling. <clears throat> but it's not fair. Bad things happen to good people. Don't let this shape who you are. Don't let it make you bitter. But never expect life to do you a good turn just because you do a good turn. Sometimes bad things happen. But remember, your mom, your dad, and everyone in the hedge, that's a lot of people love you very much and even when life's not fair the people who love you will always be there all right best piece of advice about life i've ever heard was uh, actually out of the mouth of my friend emily uh, completely unknowing so probably one of the wisest things i've ever heard uh, extremists are for everybody this applies to all things <laughs> that's great Okay. Never say anything on videotape that you can be arrested for. Thought of the things and it's over quickly. So, don't stress. Just prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for what? The future. Just what advice do you have for teenagers to now living now? Living now, as opposed to the dead teenagers, which my advice to them would be: whatever you did last, you probably shouldn't have. <laughs> uh, advice for living teenagers, going off of that, you probably should not do whatever the dead teenager did either, as it did not turn out well for them. Uh, My brother, my big brother Alex, he just got into the actual kind of thing. He has to be like 18. Okay. Alright.